Hello, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. In this video, learn about cytokines. Cytokines are chemicals made by white blood cells when you have Lyme, toxins, yeast, parasites, and they give you most of the symptom problems that you have. They also suppress the immune system. In this video, I describe more what cytokines are. I also describe things that you can do to lower these chemicals to improve immune function, but also to start feeling better with your Lyme disease. For more information about how to dose the specific supplements that I describe, click on a link to a full written article that I have in the description for this video. Treat Lyme is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD Supplements. Everyone, when you have Lyme disease, you have an excess production in the immune system by a group of chemicals called cytokines. And cytokines are good and bad. And ultimately, though, Lyme disease is a cytokine excess syndrome, okay? So cytokines are made by white blood cells whenever they see bacteria, viruses, uh, parasites, yeast, and toxins, okay? So any of those can cause white blood cells to make cytokines. And cytokines are good and bad. On the good side, they cause more white blood cells to be made. They draw those white blood cells to where the infection is or the toxin is, and um, they help those white blood cells work better. But in Lyme and in toxicity issues, sometimes in parasites, and sometimes when you have too many yeast, the immune system does not do a good job, but it keeps trying harder and harder. And eventually it makes too many cytokines, all right? Too many cytokines give you most of your Lyme disease symptoms. So too many cytokines make it so you can't think. They can disturb the sleep centers. They can make you hurt all over. They interfere with how the part of the brain that regulates your hormone systems works called the uh, hypothalamus pituitary. Um, they can cause muscle wasting. They, in excess, suppress your immune system. So instead of helping you, they actually hurt your immune system. Um, they can cause neurologic dysfunction. So anyhow, this mess called Lyme disease is actually a too many cytokine um, symptom problem, okay? Which is why if you have too many yeast growing in your intestines, it looks like your Lyme got worse, but really it's just they cause too many cytokines. And it's also why when you have Lyme toxin building up in you or you have mold toxicity issues, um, that you have symptoms that look like Lyme because they also trigger the white blood cells to make too many cytokines, all right? So that's what too many cytokines cause, all right? Now there's various things you can take to lower those cytokines, which will help with energy, will help with brain function, and help decrease pain. My favorite thing to do is to use curcumin. Curcumin is a component of the um, uh, of turmeric, the Indian seasoning turmeric, okay? And it gets inside of white blood cells and decreases cytokine production. Uh, by uh, interfering with a number of enzymes there. It also turns off a, um, a messenger that goes to the DNA of, of white blood cells that causes them to make increased cytokines. And that messenger is something called uh, NF-kappa beta, um, okay? So it can turn off that messenger as well too, all right? And usually you're gonna use 500 milligrams three times a day I like using a product that is microscopically wrapped in fat, okay? So a liposomal curcumin product, all right? Okay, now if that's not well enough, the other thing I would do to lo lower cytokines is you can use uh, antioxidants to do it. And my favorite antioxidant to use is glutathione. Glutathione, I mentioned earlier tonight, is used to detoxify in the liver. It also repairs damage to cells, but it's a potent antioxidant and it lowers oxidizing agents that trigger white blood cells to make cytokines. And if you use glutathione, you also want to use a liposomal variety, meaning it's microscopically wrapped in fat, and that's 500, 400 to 500 milligrams of it one time a day. These doses are adult doses, but they would be fine for your 13-year-old to take as well too, okay? All right, and also the advantage of adding in the glutathione is if you have, your daughter has toxins that have built up from Lyme triggering cytokines, it helps lower those, okay? So step one that I like to take is beyond curcumin. If that's not good enough, then I will add in the glutathione, okay? Other things you could take would be something called quercetin. Quercetin is a chemical made in the, color, the skin of colorful fruits and vegetables. Quercetin is also good for allergies. So if I've got somebody that has allergies, I'm gonna use quercetin. You take it as 500 milligrams three times a day as well. 
Other things you can do are other antioxidants that build up to make glutathione. And one of those is N-acetylcysteine, also called NAC. Um, and that's 500 milligrams three times a day, okay? Um, if you have a really bad flare-up in your cytokines, it's part of something called a Herxheimer reaction, okay? So a Herxheimer reaction basically means your immune system sees all these dead bug parts as you kill the Lyme germs, or it sees toxins as you're moving them out, and that can flare cytokines up. And if you're in a really, really bad Herx, sometimes doing IV glutathione actually is the better way of going, and that's 2,500 milligrams at a time, okay? Now, there's some other chemicals that sometimes manufacturers will put together in combination products, and one of those is to do the curcumin coupled with resveratrol, which comes from Japanese knotweed, for instance, coupled with N-acetylcysteine, and coupled with extracts from black tea. There is a manufacturer out there called Research Nutritionals that makes a product that has all of those things in it, okay? And that um, can be a useful product as well too, in my experience, because each of those individual components can help. And if you put them together, it can, uh, can create some good changes as well too, okay? So that's my spiel about cytokines. What I would do with your daughter is get her on curcumin and at 500 milligrams three times a day, that's not working. I would add in the glutathione that I talked about. Try the oral agent first, okay?